Hi, I'm Duquesa D. Dean. Many times as I conduct my training sessions, I ask a question that participants struggle to answer. And you may be surprised at what that question is. It's a real simple question, by the way. But when I ask the question and ask for participation, people tend to tell me what they do, all about their careers, but they never really answer the question. And you may be thinking, what exactly is that question? So I'll take you out of your misery. The question simply is, who are you? Now that's three words, and you may think that it's a simple question. But as you think about answering the question, what are some of the responses that come to your mind? Are you telling me about your career? Are you telling me about your profession and what you do? Or are you really telling me about your characteristic traits and about your life's mission? Because who you are is who you attract. And so in order for you to know what you are attracting in your life, it's important for you to then know who you are. And so take a minute and really answer that question. Who are you? As we go about the process of living life and living our purpose and mission in life, there are some steps that we can take to really define that mission. The first step is to know who you are. This takes work. It's not as simple as sitting down with a piece of paper, writing numbers down the margin, and filling those numbers in with characteristic traits or core values. It goes a little bit deeper than that. Who are you? And I really ask you to take the time to reflect on that question and do some introspection so that you can find out exactly who you are, what triggers you, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what you enjoy, what's distasteful to you, and so that you really get a sense of who you are. Secondly, once you've identified who you are, really think about who you want to be. Your mission in life is attached to you. And so who do you really want to be? As you reflect on your work to discover who you are, are there any things that you came across that you'd like to improve upon? Are there things that you'd like to subtract? Are there things that you'd like to add? And so the second step is really important to identify who you want to be in life and what you want to achieve. Once you've done that, it's time to put some work in by enhancing your personal brand. Everywhere you go, you represent you. It is said that in 30 seconds or less, people sum you up and come to their conclusion about who you are. 30 seconds, my friend. That's not a long time. And so we must take the time to invest in our personal brand. This means our vision, our mission, our values. It also means our image and how we present ourselves to the world. Because the way we look says a lot about who we are and how we see ourselves. And so we, need, we know that we need to know who we are. We need to identify who we want to be. We need to enhance our personal brand. And the next step is to develop good communication skills. How do you talk to other people? How do you relate to other people? Communication is more than just words or spoken words. We communicate through the vibes that we emit from our bodies. We communicate with our eyes, our facial expressions, our body language. We communicate more with our physical attributes than we do with actual words. As a matter of fact, one study has come to the conclusion that 7% of our communication is words. And so that means 93% of the way that we communicate is nonverbal. So focus on developing your communication skills. As you think about all of the great leaders of the world, one of the things that they have in common is they are great orators. They know how to connect to other people because communication is also about connecting with other people and speaking and connecting on the other person's language. So it's more about being selfless and taking on the other person than being selfish in our communication style. And so yes, it's a little complex. The next thing, the fifth step, is that we must continually invest in growth. We're on a mission. It's called your life mission. If you get stagnant, it means that you've stopped. We must continue 
consistently investing in personal growth and development. Every day is a new day to learn something new. For me, it could be reading a magazine. As I browsed through magazines the other day, I picked up a magazine about camping. I've never camped in my life, but it looks like interesting reading. And so I learned about the various types of equipment that you'd use when you go out in the woods on a camping trip. I learned how to cook food on a, on a campfire. I don't know that I'll ever use those skills, but it was an interesting read and it helped to expand my mindset. And finally, once you've taken the time to get to know who you are, identify what you want, enhance your personal brand, improve your communication skills, continually invest in your growth plan, make sure that you write out your life's plan. At the end of your life, what would you have liked to achieve? As you lay on your deathbed, what are some of the key things that you do not want to leave this earth without accomplishing? That, my friends, is your mission. So identify what that is, map that plan out so that you can properly live your plan. I truly believe that life is worth living, regardless of the circumstances we find ourselves in. Sometimes those are good circumstances and sometimes those are bad. But life is about hills and valleys, and we must enjoy all of those experiences. So define your life mission and live it to its fullest. Thank you for tuning in, and be blessed.